Okay. Uh, Bill Ackman, the activist investor, who's also a Berkshire investor as well, has raised questions in recent months about the legality of the multi-level marketing company Herbalife. He called it a pyramid scheme. Berkshire owns a multi-level marketing company too, the Pampered Chef. Will Ackman's attack on Herbalife have any impact on the Pampered Chef or Berkshire? And do you believe Ackman's concerns are legitimate? How do you think about the debate over multi-level marketing companies and decipher which ones are legitimate and which ones are not? Yeah, I don't know anything. I've never actually even looked at a 10K of Herbalife, so I, I, I do not know about their operation. But I think the, the key, obviously, is whether a direct marketing operation is really based on selling product to would-be distributors of one sort and loading them up and, and instead of, in effect, selling it to end users. And a pampered chef is a million miles away from anything where any, the money is made in any way by selling to level A and then those people selling to level B and all that sort of thing. It is true that certain people, lots of people, get paid on the results, the selling results of other people that they recruit. But this business of loading up people with a couple of hundred dollars or the package of something that they never sell and that being sort of the main business. And I don't know anything about Herbalife on this. I do know about Pampered Chef and, and that is not Pampered Chef's business. Pampered Chef's business is based on selling to the end user and uh, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of parties every week where people who are actually going to use the product buy it from somebody and we are not making it we are not making the money by by loading up people and then and then having them leave the sales force and and uh, and our profit coming from that, uh, Charlie. I, I think that should be the distinguishing characteristic. If I were regulating the industry, I would I would look very hard at at operations where thousands of people got their hopes uh, as to earning a living by by uh, selling the product, invested their savings in buying a whole bunch of product that they didn't need themselves, and then uh, sort of being, uh, abandoning the hope and being uh, left with the product, and the parent company just, or the, some, the, main, the main company just going out and selling millions and millions of people on a dream that was not fulfilled. Charlie? Well, I think there's likely to be more flim flam and selling magic potions than pots and pans. At our age, we're in the market, though, for any magic potions, if any of you have them. <laughs> That's the extent of your comment, I assume, Charlie? Yeah. Okay. 